Hi guys, welcome to 5 MCQ user day series and this series has been brought to you by Adutap. Before going further, uh, let us discuss uh, the relevance of uh, this series. This series will be highly useful for phase 2 of uh, semi grade A 2018 and RBI grade B 2019. Also for phase 1 and for phase 2 of uh, NABAD grade A 2019, this series will prove highly useful. We have also launched these courses and they are currently running. Uh, the first one relates to IBPS AFO 2018 and 19. Uh, the rest two are combos of RBA grade B uh, and NABAD and the second one is RBA grade B plus SEBI grade A. So you may uh, love to avail these courses as uh, soon as possible. Looking uh, at the results, uh, an RBI grade B 2017 final list. There were 27 Adidapians and in Nabad grade A 2018, out of the total uh, generalist seats of 46, 20 seats were backed by Adidapians. And uh, we are awaiting results of RBI grade B 2018, in which we are sure that RBI, uh, uh, that uh, Adidapians will come out with flying colors. Now moving to the first question. Which of the following does not form part of current account under balance of payments? The first option is export and import of goods. Second is import of services. Third is, uh, uh, second was export of services. Third is import of services. Fourth is income receipts and payments. And the fifth one is capital receipts and payments. So pause the video and think about the answer. The correct answer is 5, capital receipts and payments. Uh, because uh, you see the question asked which of the following does not form. This is how the examiner will uh, trap you, will try to trap you. Okay. So uh, first of all, we'll discuss something. See, uh, this is the balance of payment. And this can be categorized into two parts. First is current account. The second is capital account and the current account is further divided into two parts that is balance of trade that means uh, the trade in goods and the second is balance of invisibles that includes services and remittances okay and uh, under the capital account uh, th there are uh, the components include uh, foreign investment and loans, external borrowings, NRI deposits, etc. So you see there is a clear demarcation between current account and capital account. And this demarcation, why is this demarcation? Let us discuss. See the current account uh, implies that uh, it will consider only those goods and services that are currently being produced. That is th those transactions. Uh, that have implication for less than one year must remember this for less than one year okay and uh, the capital account in case of capital account uh, there is no such thing no such time limit it is regardless of the time period in fact uh, wherever there is uh, uh, the term capital it refers to a long term thing okay and the capital account is a record of inflows and outflows of capital that directly affect a nation's foreign assets and liabilities okay so it's a uh, it, it is concerned with all the international trade transactions okay and that is why how it differs from the current account Moving on, uh, the question number two, which of these are included in India's foreign reserves? Uh, you may see the options, pause the video and uh, then see the solution. The correct answer is five, all of the above. That is foreign currency assets also, gold also, SDR also and RTPs also. We will discuss these two in detail. Okay. And uh, there is a value addition for you in the explanation. See, uh, the legal provisions that govern foreign exchange reserves in India, the, they are governed according to uh, the, the provisions of RBI Act and the FEMA Act. Okay, that is Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. Okay, and uh, uh, the components we have discussed is foreign currency assets, okay, gold and special drawing rights and RTP. So what is an SDR? An SDR is actually an international reserve and it was created by the International Monetary Fund in 1969 to supplement the official reserves of the member countries. Okay, and another very important value addition for you, the uh, value of the SDR is based on 
a basket of five currencies okay and what are these five currencies uh, the us dollar the euro the chinese renminbi actually even in upsc 2016 prelims there was this question because that is this is the latest of the currencies that has been uh, added in the basket of sdr okay and then, then the japanese yen and the british pound sterling okay and what is an rtp see in imff uh, there is every each member uh, is assigned a uh, quota is assigned a quota okay so if a uh, country contributes uh, suppose uh, let's take an example suppose a country a has been assigned the quota of x okay by the imf and the country a actually uh, contributes x plus y so the difference between them that is x plus y minus x that is equal to y this is known as rtp and it is counted in the uh, domestic foreign exchange of that country moving on dash is a state owned investment fund that invests in various assets globally and these are assets of independent countries that are held in domestic and different reserve currencies okay so very confusing question so you must pause the video and think about it and only then answer the correct answer is sovereign wealth fund let us discuss a sovereign wealth fund you know as we discussed that it is a state owned investment fund and it invests in real as well as financial assets and that include bonds stocks precious metals etc okay and how and forex foreign exchange is utilized to form sovereign wealth funds and how does uh, the forex differ from sovereign wealth funds because in forex domestic current uh, currency is not included see the name itself implies uh, foreign exchange reserve so domestic currency is never included included while in sovereign wealth funds it includes domestic currencies also very important very important this will give you an edge over others okay and uh, now coming to question number four very simple question a country is said to be in a debt trap if uh, very confusing options uh, it has to abide by the conditions imposed by IMF or is it required to borrow money to make interest payments on outstanding loans or if it has been uh, refused aid by the creditors or very high interest rate is charged by the World Bank or maybe none of these. So the question is simple while the options are confusing. The correct answer is option number two. See, debt traps are circumstances in which it is uh, uh, rather impossible or near to impossible for a borrower uh, country to pay back money that it has borrowed. And these traps are usually caused by two things. First is high interest rates and second is short terms. And to uh, gain more insight, to, uh, insight into this, you uh, might as well, uh, as well uh, like to read uh, on the China's policy of debt trap debt trap policy of china so this will give you the practical insight how debt trap works moving on which of these can help in reducing current account deficit of a country is it by setting import quota limits or by reducing export duty or by reducing export subsidy or by devaluing the domestic currency or by one two and three The correct answer is by 1, 2 and 3. See, uh, what is current account deficit actually? See, when the value of imports made by a country exceeds the value of exports made by a country, then it is known as current account deficit. Why deficit? Because for importing, it has paid more because imports are more than exports. So it has uh, paid more while the incoming that is uh, the money earned through export is lesser that is why it is known as current account deficit and how do countries uh, deal with current account deficit they try to negative current account uh, deficit by uh, devaluing the, their currency by devaluing the currency what happens is the exports rise or they may set up uh, quota tariffs import quota tariffs how see if a if a country uh, sets up an import quota tariff like uh, uh, after x units you cannot import so if the country if, if the companies of that country cannot import 
सो दे विल हैव टू नेसेसरली बाय इट फ्रॉम द डोमेस्टिक मार्केट एंड इफ दे आर अनेबल टू इंपोर्ट दैट मीन्स लेस मनी विल गो आउटसाइड लेस मनी विल गो आउटसाइड सो द करंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट विल बिकम नैरोअर ओके एंड why was it not the option number 4 it was not the option number 4 because actually to uh, improve the current account situation uh, the subsidies export subsidies have to be increased and not reduced okay they have to be increased so that there is more of export and less of import okay they, they don't have to be reduced uh, and uh, will uh, Uh, there is another uh, very uh, good information for all of you guys it's that current account deficit is not always disadvantageous why because there arise they can uh, there can arise a situation and it arises often in countries like us and india also that uh, the uh, uh, country uses external debt to finance investments that yield higher returns than the interest rate on that debt so in the long run the country remains solvent okay and uh, though although the current account deficit is still running but if if this is the opposite case then this is a problematic situation and the country may become insolvent okay so these are the correct answers please do not forget to type your marks in the comment box and also if there is a suggestion please comment in the box uh, in the comment box and let us know where are you facing problems and in order to view our courses you may love to visit our website also you may drop us an email at hello@adutab.co.in or you may call us at this number If you like the video please uh, press the like button please subscribe and share this video please help us in uh, spreading uh, this revolution in education thank you and happy learning